right, this video is going to be a demonstration on how you can use a disposable Ambu uh, fiber optic bronchoscope and attach a jet ventilator to it so that if you're trying to get into a difficult airway, once you get past the cords, you can at least ventilate while you're uh, coming up with a different plan or at least temporarily ventilate or get through a procedure where you're trying to do a, trache uh, a tracheostomy and the surgeon needs some help and you have started to do a general anesthetic and you realize that you really can't get another trachea tube in. It's happened to us recently and I think any experienced anesthesiologist knows that it does happen periodically. A regular Olympus, a pen, uh, Olympus bronchoscope is very difficult to hook up a general jet ventilator to it because it leaks out through the ports. But anyway, this is just a uh, an Ambu uh, flexible endoscope, and this is actually the small small one. And so, as you can see here, these do not even have to be hooked up to the monitor. All you have to do is uh, you can hook it up to the monitor, and you can get it in using proper optic bronchoscopy, or you can just take a glide scope and you know make this go into the trachea either way but what i'm trying to demonstrate is once this is inside of the trachea you can then there's a little attachment right here that allows you to put this onto the end of the bronchoscope and then you can hook up your jet ventilator to it and it's real simple but it's a very nice it's a very nice play to have in your playbook because um this is not something you can do very easily with a regular bronchoscope. So here's your jet ventilator. On the end of it is just a regular lure lock piece. And then you attach this piece, which comes with the bronchoscope. And you could go through this port at the very top here. This is the Ambu disposable fiber optic bronchoscope. You stick this into here and then once this is into the trachea like this, you turn your jet ventilator on, you can see the amount of air coming through here. It's coming right through the distal port, which is normally used for suction. So hopefully you'll find that helpful.